Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy homemade wheat bread recipe. I'm Stephanie and I'm a stay-at-home mom of a two-year-old boy and I'm super passionate about living well on less. Whether it's saving on home decor, organization, or cleaning, all can be done on a budget. Today I have my cute little oh, sous chef. What yeah. is your name? Your name's Ezzy, yes. Yay! So he's gonna be helping me making this bread recipe today. Let's get to it. To make this recipe, what you will need is going to be some wheat flour, all purpose white flour, some type of oil. I am using olive oil today because that's all I have. Some type of honey that you may have, some fast rising instant yeast. Um, powder this is what mine looks like and some warm water and a little bit of salt so let's get started I'm gonna start with two cups of warm water I'm gonna add a tablespoon of instant yeast to my warm water mix instant yeast until it's completely dissolved add a fourth of a cup of oil into your warm water mixture I completely skipped this step, but during this time you also want to add your fourth of a cup of honey into the warm water mixture. Add a teaspoon of salt into your mixture. Mix everything until everything has completely dissolved. This recipe will make two loaves of bread. You will use two one-third cup of wheat flour and another two one-third cup of regular all-purpose white flour. When adding your flour, make sure to add a cup at a time and keep stirring until smooth. Did you ever stop and think why I spend too much time just getting ready? Let me be honest, I don't know a single thing. So I remembered I have these hooks for kneading or dough stuff on my fake kitchen um, aid mixer. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of the dough in there. To make you notice me, let me be real here. When I see you, my heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing around it's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me but this time this time girl I know what's bothering me I need somebody to love oh nah 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 don't you see what's wrong with me I need somebody to love oh oh nah Because I forgot to add the honey during the warm water mixture, I was about done and I remembered so I had to throw the dough back into the mixture and add the honey. I put the dough in a bowl and covered it up with a kitchen towel and let it rise for 20 minutes. I think it's definitely risen a bit. So the bread has doubled in size. And so I'm going to go ahead and take it off and then cut it and get it ready to go in the oven. <laughs> and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time. You want to bake at 350 degrees for 35 minutes. Okay. 
A way to know your bread is done is the top of the bread will be golden brown. You can also tap the top and if you hear a hollow sound, it is done. Once it's done, you want to place the loaf on top of a wire rack to cool down and then just rub a stick of butter on top. Does it taste like just regular bread? Because I tasted it and I liked it, but... That's better than regular bread. I like that. Is it you like it? Yeah. <laughs> Make sure to use within five days of baking the bread, or you can also freeze it. Just take an old bread wrapper and stick the baked bread in there and freeze it. I'm trying to cake and uh, bread. We're going to be making bread today? And ice cream and bread. I don't know about ice cream, but we are going to be making some bread. Let's um, get started. Let's get started. Yes. Okay. Yes, please. Let's get ready. Thank you for baking with us. Bye. Bye.